Hello, I'm Nora from Neon Bean Studio and welcome to my clipping mask versus lock transparency tutorial. I'm just gonna explain you quickly what's the difference between them and what are the benefits of each. So first let's start with clipping mask. I have this uh, circle here selected and I'm gonna make new layer on top of this and I'm gonna decorate this circle, okay? So I choose, for example, charcoal pencil from here and I'm gonna choose some light color that you can see easily. And uh, this was that one, yes, double checking. And then I'm just decorating my circle here like that, okay? And you can see that my decoration went out from the circle. Okay, and if we clip it with this clipping button here, this is making us the clipping mask, okay? But other option, if we choose this other circle here, is to choose the lock transparency, okay? So let's put lock transparency on. You can see the lock sign on top of it. And then we do the same thing, we're gonna choose this same charcoal brush and you can see it's already painting inside of it so the results are same but with lock transparency you can't make any changes anymore so this decoration is inside you can just uh, of course undo with two fingers but that's like that's it you can't go later back and change anything your uh, decoration is final it's done but with clipping mask you can always make changes there you can uh, for example um, if you don't like it you can unclip it you can do a new layer you can for example choose another brush let's uh, choose something maybe some ink brush crunchy inker we hide it from here and you can do some other color some other decoration you know like you can undo it easily or you can even change colors to this so for example uh, you have this uh, clipping mask now uh, selected okay and you're thinking like hey I don't like this color so much of this uh, tiny inks here I want to change it so you can easily unclip it then you can have new layer on top then let's choose some pink for example and I'm gonna fill that top layer with pink and pixel okay and now I'm gonna clip it to our uh, inky inky lines here and I'm gonna merge it down so now we have new line color for these inky lines so let's clip it again and voila it's it's uh, that great you can easily see that clipping mask gives us much more uh, like possibilities to go back make edi edits and play around while lock transparency is very final from the beginning and that are the main things what makes us makes them different of course also one more thing is that if you want to move around uh, your circle here with a clipping mask and you go transform tool it doesn't really uh, take this uh, decoration with with you. So for that, you would need to select multiple, select both of them, and then move them around like that. And uh, the other thing is that if you are thinking that, okay, this decoration is final now, I want to really, you know, merge it together, you can do it by just merging it down. And then it's just there, same as lock transparency. And uh, with lock transparency, if you don't want lock transparency anymore, you can just unlock it from here and it's just basic layer. And you can then use it as, as regular uh, layer and you can paint on top of it outside of this it's, uh, edges as well. So um, that was uh, my small explanation of um, <laughs> what are these uh, main differences of clipping mask and lock transparency that you would be not too confused about them. So um, you can go ahead and check out my other tutorials about Adobe Fresco uh, app on iPad. I have quite many of them now. And uh, thank you for watching. All the best. Bye bye.